Okay, so hello, welcome back to another video. I've been asked by a viewer to go over what to look for whenever you're trying to find out if your DS Pokemon games are legit or fake. And I previously covered this with red, blue, and yellow games. Those were a little bit more in depth than this is going to be because the original games had a lot of different things to look for. These games, they uh, they, they kind of don't because the counterfeits, they're kind of hard to spot. But I'm going to be showing you every method that I have been able to research and find to pick out to see if your game is counterfeit. So let's go ahead and begin with this generation of games and then we will move on to the other generations. So first off, what I'm going to tell you, this covers any game at all across all the platforms. Whenever a officially released Nintendo game comes out, the print quality on the box art is phenomenal. And that's just the way it is. I mean, you can see it's holographic. It is uh, shiny and gold. And then we also have silver. I mean, it's really nice print qualities. And I understand that sometimes labels get damaged and people print off other labels. And sometimes you even buy games secondhand from GameStop and you want a label, so you print your own. So, yeah, that's not... That, that's not a dead giveaway that the game's a fake. It just means that the game box art is reprinted. So, eh, you know, pick and choose. Pick and choose your battles on that one. So let's go ahead and get started with something else that is not unique to any specific game, but clear across the board. And it's things that you always want to look for. And that is the print quality on the label. Because this right here, again... This is something that can be changed, but most people are not going to. So I want you to look at the print quality on the labels. Everything is crisp. Everything is really easy to read. But the one thing you want to look for is the everyone above the uh, ESRB rating. Now, on counterfeit games, they do not have the same font on the rating as the regular game. So as you can see, this is what a regular game cartridge font looks like with the everyone. Now I'm about to show you a picture of a R E S R B rating of a counterfeit and that has a different it has a different font on it and it's not as legible. It's more bold. So that's one thing you want to look for. Something else that you want to look for on legit games is if you flip the card over or cart over to the back, you are going to see the Nintendo logo right there, and it's got a little itty bitty trademark at the top. And you'll notice that it is not, it's indented, but it's very, very slightly indented. Counterfeit cards either won't have that trademark on it, they do not have the same font as the Nintendo logo. It is more bold, it's pronounced, it's not the same. And some don't even have that little trademark dot on it. So that's one thing to look for. Another thing you want to look for is a lot of counterfeit cards do not have those numbers across the bottom on the teeth of the card. They don't have any numbers on it at all. It's just black straight across it. If it has that and does not have any numbers, then it's counterfeited. One more thing you want to look for. If you can take your fingernail right in here at the crease where the box is, there's a little divot right there. If you look right there at the little divot, if you can put your fingernail in there and separate the box apart, it's counterfeit. These games do not come apart whenever they get shipped from the factory. So yeah, if you can do that, it's counterfeit. Something else that you want to look at, the print on the label. So if this color seems off, then it's probably counterfeited. Now I have had legit cards that have just been sun bleached. They've been left outside and they're still legit. The colors are kind of off on it. So yeah, I mean, it's not a dead giveaway that it's counterfeit, but it's, you know, pretty good indication. Now, something else. If your card does not look like that, instead, and this is a card that I don't believe you can actually buy these anymore, but this this was really popular whenever the DSs first came out, but a lot of people would actually put counterfeit games on these cards because these cards can be preloaded with an SD card. 
So yeah, if you can see on the card somewhere that it has a slot for an SD card, obviously it's counterfeit. Okay, now for things that are specific to the games. I'm going to start by going over the games in Generation 4. So these games right here. And I will give you an in-depth look on some of these games, like what they came with if you are a completionist and you want to try to get 100% everything authentic. Now, I will tell you that some of the games are my games. So, for instance, Pokemon Diamond is my game. And why that is important is because my wife also purchases Pokemon games and we typically buy one for me, one for her. I am the kind of person that I like to keep all the papers and everything inside my games. My wife, on the other hand, will throw everything away except for the manual. So, on some of these games are going to have a completed box. The other games are just going to have the manual. So, you'll be able to see what it looks like and what came packaged with the boxes. Okay, so first off, Pokemon Diamond. That's the one we're going to look at. And I know that this has all the papers in it that came with the game. So these are the papers that came with the game when it shipped. We have a Nintendo DS manual right here. It folds out long ways. Uh, your ticket to the latest official Pokemon games. Yep. Cool stuff there. Little packet. And then we have the manual itself. Okay, as far as what you want to look at at the games to make sure they are legit. It is this number across the bottom right here. Now this number, the ADAE, I believe it's what it says, if it'll focus in. Okay. So this game at the bottom has a code on it that is ADAE. That is the official code for Pokemon Diamond. And you can see that code also on the box itself and on the back of the card. So first let's look at the back of the card. In the ink printing down at the bottom right here, if I can shine the light on it, it says ADAE. That is the card number for Pokemon Diamond. It will also have it on the box itself. So if you flip this over right there, it will say a, D, A, E next to the barcode. Yep. A, D, A, E, U, S, A. Okay, now again, both of those can be faked. The one on the card is going to be a little bit more difficult to fake than the one on the box because it's just a label. But that is Pokemon Diamond. So let's go ahead and look at Pokemon Pearl. Now Pearl, the number on the back of it... APAE. If we open this up, you can see that it has APAE there and on the back APAE. Those are the numbers you want to look for on Pokemon Pearl. As far as what came with the games, we have a collectible poster right here. Same thing that we had before or whatever this is. Oh yeah, it is a poster. Okay, that's neat. I did not even know that. Collectible poster. No manual for the uh, DS game, like I said. But there is a manual for this. All right. And that's what Pokemon Pearl shipped with. Okay, next, let's look at Platinum. Platinum version, the number on it, right here, it is CPUE, I think. P-C-P-U-E, maybe? I don't know. We'll look at it on the inside. Okay. Yeah, it is CPUE. So CPUE, that is the name on the card. Name on the box. CPUE. Yep, that's right. Okay, and on the back, it also says CPUE. All right. Now, the items that shipped with Pokemon Platinum. First off, we have the Nintendo DS Wi-Fi connector booklet, Nintendo DS safety booklet, and then this did not actually have a poster with it. Instead, it just had a regular, you know, regular insert for the game manual. 
Next, we are going to be looking at Pokemon Heart Gold. Number on the back of Pokemon Heart Gold. And this actually came in a bundle pack with the Poke Walker, which is shown right there. And it also came with Figurine. That's why it says not for resale. So some of the games, if they got pre-ordered and it came with the bundle pack with the Poke Walker and the uh, action figure that came with it, it will say not for resale on it. Anyway, the number on that, I believe, is IPKE. All right. So I do not actually have a Poke Walker with me at the moment it's in storage somewhere i don't really know where it is but the number is also on the manual ipke it is over here on the label ipke and it is back here on the card if we can zoom in on it it's kind of hard to read but ipke right across there ipke Okay, watch shipped with Heart Gold. You have a Pokemon Rumble exclusive little pamphlet. Then you have the booklet itself. Next, what we're going to look at, Soul Silver. Soul Silver, number on the back, same thing, came with a bundle pack, so it doesn't have a barcode on it, but P I P G E. IPGE. I like Soul Silver enough that I actually bought two copies. So, as you can see right here, both of these IPGE. Flip them over. IPGE. All right. And it looks like you can tell the version number two right there with the 12 and the 22. So it looks like this one was actually a newer version. So they might have patched out some bugs in the later version. Anyway, the things that shipped with Soul Silver obviously it came with a box, but inside the game manual only had this. It came with Pokey Walker and everything else. So yeah, there's that. Okay, that was Generation 4. Now let's move on to Generation 5. And the only Pokemon game that I do not have in Generation 5 is Pokemon Black. And the reason why is because uh, I purchased Pokemon White, my wife purchased Pokemon Black, and she absolutely hated Pokemon Black. I personally didn't really like Pokemon 1, but I kept it just because I'm a completionist. But anyway... Pokemon Black and White 2, however, those are really good games. So, I don't have Pokemon Black to verify what the number is on that, but I'm sure you can look that up online. The same things basically apply that I've already went over. So, on the back, right here, code for Pokemon White, I-R-A-O. Open it up. There is... If I... Wow, I don't... I haven't played this game in forever. Okay, there we go. Number on that is I-R-A-O. If we flip it over on the back. I-R-A-O. Okay, so that is for Pokemon White. Pokemon White also shipped with these inserts right here. We have the manual, and we have an exclusive code to get Jirachi, not Jirachi, uh, Victini. There you go. So, um, Pokemon Index Code, official release. Wow, I haven't even read this, so. Hmm. Oh, well, it's in here somewhere. I don't know, maybe the code's on there. You know, if you find it, you can pause the video, see what the code is. I don't know if the code's on there, I'm not really reading it. Anyway, that's what it shipped with. Okay, now let's move on to Pokemon White 2. So White 2, number on the back of it is... I-R-D-O. Card on the inside. I-R-D-O. And then we have the number on the back, which is I-R-D-O. What Pokemon White 2 shipped with... We have the DS Wi-Fi Connecting Booklet, a DS Manual for Safety, Get Genesect, which, again, there's probably a 
code on there somewhere. I don't know if you can pause the video and zoom in and see it. Yeah, but frankly, I, I don't really know. I'm not really paying attention to it. And then the Pokemon Black, uh, sorry, White 2 instruction booklet. Okay, next, and the final one that we're going to be looking at right now is Pokemon Black 2. So, with this game, number on the back right here, which is I-R-E-O. Open it up. Card on the inside. I-R-E-O. And then we have the number on the back, which is I-R-E-O. As far as what it shipped with, here is the manual. Now, obviously, there was more stuff with it, but, you know, we threw away the other stuff that was kind of junk. There's the booklet for it. Okay, now, those are the main series Pokemon games. The other Pokemon games, I haven't really researched what to look for on these. I would assume it's about the same thing, but I'm, I never really played the off series games so yeah that is from what i have researched and found the best ways to figure out if your pokemon games are legit for the ds now in a few days i might look up and see about the 3ds games and see what makes them legit not legit and what to look for but until then i hope that this video has helped you if it has go ahead leave me a like a comment down below let me know what you thought and if you wouldn't mind go ahead and subscribe to our channel because this is one of my weaker channels and I'm trying to get it up to a thousand subs. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great, wonderful rest of your day.